Hey guys, it's Whitney from Thanks for the Food, and I'm here today to show you how to make a beer milkshake. And this recipe was inspired by a recipe that I saw on um, Chow.com's video channel on YouTube called How to Make a Beer Milkshake, and it's a Chow tip. Um, the thing that I want to do a little bit differently than what Chow did is I wanted to see if I could use um, ingredients, um, only Norwegian ingredients, so I wanted, of course, to use... Um, this Betty Brown, this Norwegian brown ale from Lavig. It's a local brewery here in Stavanger. I wanted to see if I could make this recipe using um, Norwegian beer and Norwegian ice cream because, of course, Norwegian ice cream is um, really good, and I love this Betty Brown beer, which came out last summer. So anyway, so we're going to make a beer milkshake using Betty Brown. Um, if you don't have Betty Brown in your area, you can, of course, always use like a dark stout or a dark ale. Um, my second favorite to using the Betty Brown is to use this Guinness. Okay, so let's get started. So for this recipe, the first thing that you'll need is, um, I'll put the the measure the exact measurements down in the comments below, but for this recipe, the first thing that you're going to need is um, some beer, obviously. So um, <clears throat> the reason why I like Betty Brown is because it's dark and it's a little bit on the sweet side, but it's not so super sticky sweet that you just, you know, kind of don't get any beer um, flavor. So it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And I also, of course, love that it's produced here locally in Stavanger. So my, I have a big heart for a lot of big beer because I think they do a lot of really cool stuff. And of course, the brewmaster is um, American, so we get a little American tie-in. But anyways, okay. So the first thing that I'm going to add is um, I'll add our Betty Brown to the blender. And then the next thing that I'm going to add um, is vanilla ice cream. And in the chow video, they add chocolate ice cream, so you can do either, or you can try like a caramel ice cream, but I do vanilla because um, that's what I like. So you add the vanilla ice cream, and then the next thing that you're going to want to add, um, in the chow recipe, they use malted um, powder or malted milk powder, which we don't have in Norway, and I also look for like malted balls, like Whoppers, and in England, I think they're called Maltesers but we don't have those readily available in Norway. So I skipped the malted powder or the malted balls, and I'm going to use um, cocoa powder instead because that's, of course, readily available in Norway. Um, so the recipe that they use calls for five um, tablespoons of malted powder, so we'll use the same amount in chocolate powder here. I think that should be five. Okay, um, so now that we have everything in our blender, all we do now is just basically turn it on. Um, it's as simple and easy as that. I cannot find my feeder cap, like, anywhere, so that's, um... One thing that's missing is my feeder cap. But the great thing about this is, again, I use Norwegian ice cream and Norwegian beer. And you can just kind of see how it looks. I will um, pour the result into a glass so you can see what that looks like. Sorry, I forgot to get a glass before I turn the camera on. Um, yeah. So this is what the result looks like. And my ice cream was a little bit melted, so it's not as thick as it usually is, but um, that's the finished result. And it's basically just a chocolate milkshake. This is really um, good. It's a grown-up milkshake, so obviously you don't want to be serving this to kids, but um, it's a great way to take Norwegian beer, which is this um, Betty Brown beer from Lavig. And again, this is um, one of my favorite dark beers. If you can't find um, Betty Brown in your area or if you don't live in Norway, you can always use Guinness. And then I use um, this, uh, I use this um, Royal Norwegian Cream Ice with Vanilla from Madagascar Ice Cream. So um, Norwegian beer and Norwegian vanilla ice cream. Add a little bit of cocoa powder and turn on the blender. Um, this is Whitney from Thanks for the Food. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, if you have any questions or any comments or if you want to see me make any other recipes online, just send me a 
message in the comments and let me know. And I will see you next time. Um, you can always find me on um, my blog, which is thanksforthefood.blogspot.com. You can also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Instagram. You can also now find me on SlideShare. And of course, you can always find me on YouTube. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.